Rick, Christian Brothers is the number one seed. That might surprise some people, but I know it doesn't surprise you. Uh, how do you feel about uh, being the number one seed? Well, you know, in a way it's a surprise. You know, a team with five losses gets the number one seed, but also, you know, we, we have done our job in our in our class, you know, and, and, and moving in, being number one is always not a good thing going into playoffs. The last time I was a number one, I lost a national championship. So hopefully that same result does not happen, but Moving into the tournament, I feel good about our guys. You know, we have some things that we have to tweak. I think as a coach, you, in practices now, it's maintenance versus, you know, trying to teach new things. So we're lucky enough to be in a good position and we're in a great class. It's going to be a competitive tournament. It seems like there's a lot of parity. I mean, it's going to be, there's a lot of teams that can win that. How do you kind of see uh, Class D playing out here? Well, for me, I've never taken anyone lightly. And we've had big wins against teams like Tully and, and Lafayette, who are traditionally great programs. I never walked in and, and taking those guys lightly at all because they can hurt you no matter what. They have good players. They may be young, but young players at the end of the year become veterans. So it's uh, it, moving into it, it's, it's going to be difficult for everybody to move on. So, you know, we're going to have to bring our A game starting in the quarterfinals. Uh, you know, if we get, uh, you know, Laval or Ludden, uh, we're going to have to still bring our A game and try to, you know, come out of that with some good, clean wins and then move into the semis, which will be tough, whoever we get. You know, whether it's General Brown or someone, um, they're certainly a good team that's looking for a lot of respect, and, and so are we. So.